Welcome to Happy Crappy Paints, part 10, a special episode with just how to do blood effects using some discarded footage from the Picked Hunters video. For blood effects, uh, use Tamiya X27. This is a paint that you will find in hobby stores. Uh, it's a, a clear, transparent red. It behaves differently from other, like Vallejo or Games Workshop paints is in that as it dries your brushes will pretty much become solid uh, so you have to clean your brushes carefully uh, using a mild detergent like a soap uh, working up a lather into your brush uh, two or three times in in hot water uh, to rinse it afterwards so take some of some of the Tamiya red and add about 50 50 with Agrax Earthshade you could also use null oil if you don't have any agrax. So in pretty much equal amounts. The palette, I'm using palette paper from Games Workshop for this. You could also use uh, like a white bathroom tile that you can get cheap from a, uh, like a Home Depot or some other home shop store. So when you mix it, you're going to notice that uh, they don't actually mix too well, which is actually the point. Uh, you would, you do want some parts of the paint to be darker and some to be lighter. And when you, you pick the paint into your brush and paint it, you could vary the darkness of the blood as you put it on, on your mini um, using darker um, shades of the paint in where you want to blood to be pooling and the lighter shades uh, when you're not you don't want it to pool uh, watering the blood paint is also a good way if you want to make it run more the blood and you don't want any big globs for these small miniatures you don't want the paint to to uh, be too blobby into big blobs so add some water for these small miniatures um, the paint also dries, uh, or when it dries, it'll become uh, slightly more sticky and gooey. So, you c if you if you do want that effect, uh, make maybe creating blood droplets, you can wait a little bit for the paint to start drying a little bit before you put it on. That will also make it um, be bigger blobs on your mini when you paint it. Adding blood effects um, is a good way to cover up mistakes that you make, um, especially if you're you're speed painting or don't bother too much about uh, the finer small details. Most of them are going to be not no noticeable when you're playing with the minis anyway. But um, where you, when you have them, like I had a, a little on the armband there and the wristband, I had a little too much of the bone color outside of the actual wristband. So I covered that up with some blood instead. Uh, when painting blood, try to follow the natural uh, uh, curvature or the texture of the mini, like where it would run if it was a natural flow of blood. If you if you miss, if you put or get blood where you don't want it, it you sadly cannot take it off. So you're kind of stuck where you put it. So be a little careful when you apply blood. And also, don't add too much. Uh, it's best to add just a tiny bit of blood to your minis. Otherwise, it will look strange um, on the table. It doesn't look natural if you add too much blood. This is borderline too much that I'm adding here, especially to the back. It's a little mistake I made. Um, so that here is a good lesson of maybe too much on that wound on this back. So there you go, that's uh, my instructional wi video for blood on miniatures. There's plenty out there on YouTube, but uh, I needed one as well, because why not? Thanks for watching.